Okay, good morning everyone. I tried a new pump today because I have, oh, I have like hospital grade, really fancy Medela pump that I'm renting from the hospital because it's like the best one ever. Like it's a really good pump and I pump exclusively. So I wanted like the nicest one that was gonna be nicest to my boobs since my boobs are taking a beating. But it's big and I kind of have like my pumping station in my room. So whenever I have to pump, I go sit in there for 20 minutes. And it's every three hours I'm like sitting there like, well. So I wanted to pump in my office so that when I'm editing and stuff, I can be pumping if I need to and not have to take a break to go back, you know? So. I just pumped with this thing and I'm gonna see how it did. My boobs hurt, it was on the lowest setting. And normally I can take a beating with like, I put the pressure up all the way like, I'm like, suck out the milk. But this one, it was like on the lowest setting and it hurt me. I don't know which pump this is. I got it on Amazon, I'll look it up and we'll see if it's even any good. I've tried the Willow pump, which is another pump that they put in your bra and you can kind of walk around using. And I didn't like the Willow. Willow's amazing, everyone loves that company. And I liked it at first, but I just didn't like the bags that you stored the milk in. I didn't like that you have to charge it and I have to charge this too, so I'm probably not gonna like this because I'd forget to charge it and then I'd really need to pump, but they'd be dead and I couldn't. A lot of people love the Willow, but like, I think I'm too forgetful to enjoy the Willow because I just never remember to charge it. And so it would just always be dead and I could never use it or it would die in the middle of a pumping session. I could never get the app to work because I'm really bad at technology. So the reasons I didn't like the Willow are kind of like my own fault. But anyway, I don't know why I'm telling you all this. I'm gonna go see how much I pumped. Not as good as the other one because it hurt and I only got two ounces and three ounces. Dang it. Normally I get four ounces and three ounces. We're hunting. We're hunting the cat. I see him over here. We're wearing hunting hats. And we're hunting cats. Oh, I see it moving. It's moving over there. It's moving. Do you think it sees us? I have an He's idea. He's licking us. I have an idea. Maybe if we get treat. We'll get him to come out of the cave. Do you, know, do you know where any cat yogurt is? Oh, I know. I'll be right back. Okay. okay. I got a treat for him. You got a treat for him? Yeah, I want kitty cat yogurt. Kitty cat yogurt? Yep. Okay, let's go. Okay, on you, Gus Gus. Gus Gus. Gus Gus. Gus Gus. That is you right there, Gus Gus. Okay. Um, what, what do you want to do? Go over here. Okay. And look right there, oh, Gus Gus. And that is your right. Say, here, Gus Gus. Here, Gus Gus. You gotta go. That's not working. Hmm. Did you show me about yogurt? Gus. He's coming. He's coming. No, you don't get to taste it. It's just for kitties. Oh, here's for kitties. You're right. Mm. He likes it, Flynn. We already hunted Daisy. We found her. We looked everywhere. And we found her and captured her. And then we looked for Gus. We found Gus. And now we captured Gus with some cat yogurt. But now I can hear Daisy meowing because she's in your room, Flynn. We have to get her out of your room. We gotta go get Daisy. Should we release her into the wild? Should we release Daisy? Huh? She's in your room, remember? What? Daisy's in your room. Yeah? Yeah. I think she wants a cat yogurt too. Should we get her so we can give her a cat yogurt? Yeah, I'll get her. Okay. Do you think she's hungry for it, Flynn? <laughs> Daisy, you want some cat yogurt? You're so excited, Daisy. Oh. <laughs> Daisy, it's on the floor. Yeah. Daisy did a terrible job looking that up. <laughs> okay, no more. We decided to go on a little adventure to see some helicopters. Well, helicopter starting, the news helicopter. And airplanes. So that's what we're doing Come right on. now. But I call my airplane though. What did you used to call when you were a baby? My bus, but I call them airplanes. Yep. Yeah. You know what you used to call cars? <laughs> what did you used to call cars? No, no. Dar dars. Dar dars? Yeah, you used to say dar dar for cars. Isn't that funny? Yeah. yeah. Now, what do you call a car? What? You call it a dar dar? Yeah, I just call it a dar dar. <laughs> you call them dar dars? Yeah, but so now I call them cars. Good boy. Look at all the little white steaks. You want to see those? Yeah. You want to go see them? Yeah, you're free to go. Go, Flynn, go. Oh, it's a racetrack. Yeah, 
What's that, Flynn? <laughs> what is it? That's a bigger ship. Apple. Oh, 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 what's this one? Well, look at you. You're riding the truck. You ride the Dardar. -dar. It's a airplane. <laughs> and now it's a. Oh, he's a fireman. Hi, fireman. And now he's a. Oh, Alex man. What about the helicopter? It's a helicopter. Oh, Okay, go inside. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, you're gonna fly the helicopter for real? Oh, here goes an airplane. Wait. Hi, airplane. Have a nice flight. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Um, And you got the pedals to take off? Yeah, there's the driver's seat. Okay, you ready to start it up? Hit the start button. Okay, look. Oh, it's spinning. You did it. Are you gonna take off? Yeah, I take off. Oh, you're taking off. Whoa, bye bye. Have a nice flight. Have a nice flight. I did it. You did it. <laughs> All right, you're going to go on the runway and take off? Yeah. And Daddy's the control tower? I'm going to be the control tower, okay? Okay. Start your engines. very soon. I put Flynn to sleep tonight and we cuddled and I think I fell asleep before him. <laughs> Usually it takes Flynn a really long time to fall asleep and tonight he was quiet and I was quiet. I think we were both just so tired and we just like we talked for like maybe five minutes about eating cake and then we just passed out. So I got to sleep for like 20 minutes with him and it made me realize I am so tired. The fact that I could fall asleep cuddling with Flynn in his bulldozer bed, like I never can do that. The only time I've ever been able to fall asleep while cuddling Flynn is like when I was pregnant and just exhausted. So I need to go to bed, but I want to do a couple of tortilla talk questions before I do. Where's my tortilla? Tortilla talk. Has Flynn ever been annoyed or upset at the twins crying? Also, has Flynn ever gotten jealous of you and Eric were feeding the baby and being with the babies? We try really hard to make sure Flynn feels super special and included. So I haven't really noticed any jealousy. Maybe one time I was holding Wesley and he got up on my lap too, but I don't think it was jealousy. I think he just like wanted to be with me and Wes. Has he ever been annoyed or upset at the twins crying. No, upset, but not like mad. Like he like, he's an empath. I know people make fun of people who say that, but he really is an empath. He's always been very like in tune with other people's feelings. And so when Maisie and Wesley were first home, we wanted to give them both a bath. And so we put them both in the bathtub and they were upset as we were putting them into the bathtub because we had to take all their clothes off and it's cold. And then they like the bath once they're in it. But in the process of getting them into the bath, they were both crying and Flynn didn't understand what was going on. It was his first time hearing them both cry. And he was like, why are they sad? Why are they sad? And he started crying. Flynn always explains his feelings. So he goes, I'm sad from the babies are sad. And he just was so upset that they were crying. So he cried because they were crying. He didn't want them to be sad. That has happened, but now he's used to hearing them cry because they cry all the time. So he tries to cheer them up. He like, if they cry, he runs up to him and goes, it's okay. And he like kind of talks how I talk, like he mimics what I do. So he goes up and he, and he likes to sing to them. So if they're crying, he'll go up and he'll just start singing a song to them. He'll be like, that makes her feel better. I'm like, that makes her feel so much better. And she's like screaming. <laughs> Tortilla talk question. What parts of being a mom are much different than what you expected and what's the same? I don't have kids yet, so I'm curious on your experience with the expectations versus reality. Love you so much, Colleen. 
love you too. So much is different than what I thought. I think the biggest difference is you hear something like a baby eats every three hours and you think, oh, so in between that time they're sleeping and I can get stuff done. So you feed them and then they sleep and then I can do stuff, I can work. And I think that was my biggest expectation before Flynn and before the twins, honestly. Um, I thought, well, I can work while they sleep or I can do this project while they're sleeping in between sleeps and whatever. Cause you think, oh, they're eating every few hours. That is not how it works. And that was very shocking for me to figure out with Flynn. And it's been hard for me to relearn with the twins. You know, in my head I thought, well, they sleep a lot. So I'll just get stuff done while they're sleeping. But this just doesn't happen because they eat every three hours from when they start eating. It takes about 45 minutes to feed them both. And then after they're both fed, you have to change both their diapers, swallow them all up. If they poop or pee on their outfit, you have to change their outfit, clean them up, all that stuff. So then it's been well over an hour at that point once you've changed both of them. And then um, trying to get them back to sleep or entertain them if they're staying awake, that's a whole other story. But if they're getting back to sleep, trying to rock them back to sleep or calm them back to sleep, takes another 15, 20 minutes. And then I have to pump for 20 minutes. And then I have to fortify my milk, clean the pump parts, clean any bottles, do laundry or whatever. It's all stuff for the twins. And by the time I'm done like settling everything, it's almost time to feed them again. So there's no time in between feeding them, especially the twins. So even though their like feedings are getting a little bit more spread out now, like now they eat every like four-ish hours, not really. <laughs> but even though they like kind of eat every three to four hours now, I still have no time in between because now they're awake more often. So if one's asleep, the other one's awake. And if one's awake, the other one's asleep. We can't get them on the same schedule. No matter how many times twin parents have told me to to do that, it doesn't, it's just not happening. They eat on the same schedule, but everything else is not the same. I'm constantly like, I'm soothing and comforting Wesley as he cries. And then I put him down when Maisie's upset and I'm soothing and comforting Maisie. And then Wesley's crying and I'm switching off, trying to soothe or put them to sleep or take care of each one. And it's just an endless cycle. So yeah, that was a very roundabout way of saying, I thought I would have time to do literally anything, shower, you know, nothing happens when you have babies. That's a lot different than I expected. What's the same as what I thought motherhood would be? Like I knew I would be like obsessed and in love and like I knew my heart would explode and I would love them so much and that is true. Like your heart just explodes and you can't imagine loving anything as much as you love your kids when you have kids. It's That's very, very true. Uh, so one more. Sophie said, tortilla talk question. I've begun to notice that Maisie is looking more like Flynn every time I get to see her face. Who do you think Wes looks like now that he's getting older and more people like. <laughs> Love you, Colleen. So I think Maisie does look a lot like Flynn. I also think Maisie acts a lot like Flynn, how Flynn did when Flynn was baby. Wesley is, I swear, if I did not see Wesley the second he came out of my body and there was like a picture of him right after they pulled him out of me, I would not think he was my kid. <laughs> I don't think he looks anything like me. And I don't think he looks like Eric really either. It's so weird how different, because like Maisie, I feel like looks related to Flynn and she looks like Flynn, she looks like Eric, but Wesley is just, I'm like, who are you? And a lot of people have said he looks like a Ballinger, but if you look at Ballinger baby pictures, like I don't think Wesley looks like a Ballinger baby. However, when Eric's parents were visiting, they showed us a picture of Eric's dad as a baby. And I think he looks identical to Eric's dad as a baby. So I think Flynn is very much, or sorry, I'm already messing up their names. <laughs> I think Wesley is a very much a Stocklin. It's just a different part of the Stockland land. Like I think, sometimes I look at Maisie and I'm like, oh my gosh, you look exactly like my mother-in-law. Like she looks exactly like Eric's mom. So I think Wes is gonna look like Eric's dad. Other than that, I don't see any similarities of me certainly, but I see Eric in both of them every once in a while. Like sometimes Wesley has Eric's chin and that's kind of it. I don't know, I don't know the rest, I don't know where the rest of his face he looks nothing like me and he doesn't look anything like Eric. I don't know. A lot of you guys say he looks like a Ballinger and I really don't agree with that, but I think he's adorable. So that's good. Okay. So I just wanted to say really quickly, um, yesterday I posted a video about like my postpartum depression and like I showed myself just having a really hard night and just kind of crying and upset and having a hard time. And I spilled some of my breast milk and it just like sent me spiraling into sadness and I'm just tired. And I just cry a lot right now. It's very, I'm sad. And and it's common with 
postpartum for that to happen. And the comments on that video are so wonderful. And I just wanna say thank you so much. If you watch my videos because you're on this journey of pregnancy or motherhood along with me and you're struggling with prepartum depression or postpartum depression or just depression in general, I encourage you to go read the comments of that video. It is just people telling their stories and what they have been through with depression. And it makes me feel so much better to just know that other people are experiencing it too. And there's like a community of people that all are just sharing their stories and their experiences and encouraging each other. Like I can't even begin to describe how wonderful it was for me to read all of those comments. So I strongly encourage any of you, if you are dealing with that, like go read those comments and see that this is something that happens to so many people. This is like a hard thing that a lot of people have to go through. And um, there's a community of people out there that understand how you feel. Sometimes being a mom, especially in this new phase when they're tiny, you're with the baby all day and you're with humans all day, but it's like the loneliest feeling. It's very lonely. Postpartum depression is a very lonely depression. And so to see that it's not, you doesn't have to be lonely. There are other people who are going through it too. I mean, I knew, I know that, like I'm not, like I'm consciously am aware of that, but to read it was really great. And one thing that stuck out to me was, I said a lot in that video and I say it a lot all the time. I say, how do you do this? Parents of twins, like, how do you do this? Or I can't do this. And a lot of people said in the comments, like, you keep asking, how do you do this? But you are doing it, you are doing it. <sighs> and that just, I don't know, it, like it took my breath away to read that, to be like, I am doing it, I'm doing it. Like somehow, I'm not doing very well, but I'm doing it. Yeah, just go read those comments if you're experiencing um, anything like me. It'll make you feel better just reading other people's experiences. So anyway, I feel like I'm talking in circles now and um, I'm really tired, so I wanna go to sleep. Well, we'll see. I didn't sleep last night. Wesley was up all night, really sad. Hopefully he'll sleep tonight and let me sleep. I love you all very much. Leave questions for Tortilla Talk. We'll see, maybe I'll answer some in the comments below. Love you guys.